Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Aussie Farming in the Philippines. Well, we're up doing harvesting yesterday, and this one fell down, one of the trees nearest to us. And Chick said, that's the variety that we love the best. So there's all different varieties of durians. So, when Papa come, he walked past and looked and went, Oh, would you hit that one? I said, the, the close one. He goes, oh, that's a good variety. I was like, okay. So let's go up and have a look up the back, eh? Right, so this is the bridge, and this is the first one here. So this is a different variety one, look. So apparently that's um, the more expensive. It's like, okay. And the funny one is, Chick showed me the tree up here yesterday. She goes, cut this one down. And I'm like, ka, kado, kado. She goes, cut this one down, I'll show you. Right, this one here. She said, I want this one to cut down. I said, it's got small durians on it. And I said, why? Like you always do, you go, why? Why? You know, that's always a question of why. And she said, because that one, oh look, there's a trail camera way up underneath it. How smart is that? She said, um, because that's the local version, which is very small, and we don't want that one. So I said, well, why did you cut the fucking thing down, you know, years ago, when it was only yay big? And she said, well, you don't know until they fruit what type they are. And I'm like, huh? She goes, until they fruit, you don't know what they are. I thought, well, where the fuck did you get them from in the first place? Surely they would know. So um, this one's going to come down. I'll get the guy in to cut that one down because I can't do it. Not anymore. So um, that's okay. Look, the hairy balls are going well. They're still green. All the hairy balls. Still green. Right. So I'll go past and smile at the camera. Oh, this one really low, look. Really low. This is where the bastards cut the fence. I've got to check this every morning along here. Those people who do the corn, they're the ones who's doing it. See, they're doing the, the grow the corn. That's what happened last time. They smell it. They smell the during in the air. Oh, fuck me. Oh, what the fuck was that? There's something up here. Oh, they're harvesting coconuts next door. Okay. That's where they gotta wash them because they come and harvest ours as well. Yes, they do. They harvest ours as well. Now, you've seen that one I showed you just at home. Okay, the good variety. This one here is a different variety again, which is this one. And it turns out to be like this, look. Oh, fuck it, ow, ow, ow. Look, she, she's ripened, she's splitting already, see? Different variety, different variety. So I think she's got four different varieties here on the farm at the moment. I said, whoever buys this block is going to be very well off. Very, very well off. Right, this is the big tree. Oh, look, it's the first, first drop. This is the big tree. You usually get shitloads from this one here. This is when the pop always counts them all up and checks them every day. Because you've got to watch it. This is where they cut the hole in the fence. Last time, all I do is I just cut, cut the wire and just push it aside so that they can fit through carrying, you know, with the shoulders carrying durians under each, under each hand. And um, away they go. Fucking bastards. Two legged rats, mate. So that this is our first drop from this tree. Look at them all, look. So Papa will be back today to do more more harvesting for sure. Oh fucking prickly bastards. Look at them. Oh they hurt. Oh, they hurt too, I tell you. The handle's gone. I hope the handle goes. Oh no, the handle's there, it's up underneath, look. So Chick will be happy, and so will Papa, but they're ready to be harvested now. Right, let's see, oh look. This is the one that Papa put here yesterday. Alright. Right, so these are the ones that Papa harvested yesterday. This Last night he came just after five with the climber, and he went to just after six in the dark. He said, it's too much now, it's too dark. So yeah, he's got himself a good few there. 
Good, 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 good. Got so many chickens, you know, got so many fucking chickens. Now we've got so many fucking chickens. Hi! Where are you? Hi, I'm feeling up the horn. Can you turn off that tap, please, hunt? Hi! What do you want for breakfast today? Hot dogs. Hot dogs? That's unusual, isn't it? That's that's very, very unusual, I. Saturday's I I's day for um, breakfast. So, um, because chicken I choose what we want, and uh, normally my day is Monday, and um, Sunday is a very light breakfast for chicken. I normally have a piece of toast with just a beautiful fried egg, soft farm fried egg on it. Normally. It's like yummy, yummy, yummy. And oh my god, where did that come from? Yesterday. Yep. So, chicks squash pumpkin, mate. I tell you, she's becoming a professional farmer. She'll be taking them down the fucking market soon. I tell you, mate. I tell you. Look, we control is all all done. No plastic matting, no drip system. And look, she's got another one here. Look. Oh, here's another one. God, we're still eating that bastard you've got the other day, hun. We still got the one she had the other day. We had a beautiful soup with it yesterday with Stu here. And um, of course I roasted it all up as well. Oh look, there's more little flowers coming up. Oh God, hog, hog, you're gonna be so fucking jealous again of the Aussie farm. You're gonna be so fucking jealous again, you bastard. You know? Right, all right, I'm gonna start preparing breakfast because today is a rest day for me. I'm very, very sore, very, very sore. So I'm just gonna redo all the whippersnipper heads, rewire all those back up ready for the boy on Monday and um, just take it easy for the weekend. Why? Because I can. I'm not strapped for money, so I don't have to work. All right, baby, I'll go and get breakfast started. Farm eggs, guys. Look at the dark yellows on that. The whites. The whites just stick together, look. Big lump. Not like the shop board that slide across the whole pan. That's it there. Bit of butter in the pan, done. Crack your eggs. Always put them into one of these in case it's got some uglies in there. Put the lid on. Leave it for a few minutes, turn it off, just leave it. Okay, there's the hot dogs done. Hot dogs, Saturday morning, probably two out of three times you'll be hot dogs. Why, you like your hot dogs? Why do you like hot dogs? Why? All the time is hot dogs, hot dogs. Right, turn the flame off, teaspoon of water, just a teaspoon, dip in the middle, put the lid on it, leave it, to great steam, cooks all the top, the inside of your eggs are totally soft, and there's no power on. Right, let's do this toast. There you have it guys, look at that. Perfectly soft eggs. Perfectly soft eggs. William's way of cooking eggs on the Aussie farm. Welcome to William's Homestead Kitchen. Yeah! And the crowd went wild. Rawr, rawr. We're getting so much eggs now. I know, you dolls, I'll tell you. We're getting like uh, seven to nine a day. Seven to nine eggs a day. Well, we're going to start selling them to the German deli in a tugum. Hey, I. Right. Look at that guys, that's how it turns out. If you like soft, soft scented eggs, that's how you cook them, just like that. William, you are amazing. How is it, I? Yum, can't talk eating. Can't talk eating, yum. Right guys, so we're at the back of the house, it's 4.30, I've just finished all the animals. Tick's nearly finished with the goats. This is a local durian tree, this one here. Now if you can see the durians, they're very small. They're probably about half the size of the other variety that we've got up the back. So you can see why she wants it cut down. So, Right, so apparently the goat buyer is at the gate. The one who laid down the deposit last week. See, it was coming Saturday. It's supposed to be in the morning. <sighs> Let's go and get him in, eh? Right, so this fella's going. He's not stud on this one. We're still by the size of their balls, guys. So girls, if you want to marry a guy, meet him on the dance floor and have a feel of his balls. See what he's like. So there's another carton of beer for William. Yeah, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Right, so another goat sold, another carton for William. I'm happy. 
that pay for all my walking around every day. So these birds drink so much in this hot weather, like today is hot as hell. Hot as hell. And uh, look at all those, look, look at them all, the little babies. So many of them, guys. I don't know how some people say, uh, the chickens aren't hatching, they're not doing anything because of the weather. You know, try and be a hobby farmer. Stu's going through the same problem. He said, I can't stop, buddy. He said, chicken's coming out my ass. So he's doing the big cull himself on the weekend. Stu is. He said, he's just got so many bloody chickens. Oh, look out, he's got one for a shag. The bantam legs, look at that. She's got little tiny legs. Little tiny legs. Every now and again, you get ones like that. Real tiny, weeny, weeny, weeny legs. All right, guys, I'm going to say ta-da. It's been a busy day. It's uh, five to five. That means it's nearly beer o'clock time because you earn your beer if you're a hobby farmer so i'm going to go and have a nice cold beer sit down with the dogs and relax and remember we'll see you all tomorrow for the live stream catch us later guys eight o'clock farm time bye bye